One of the biggest problems about creating with a drone, ah, it's all horizontal. And what if you want to do it for the gram? Or what if you want to do it for TikTok? So in today's video, I'm sharing with you some of my tricks for how to create vertical video. And I'm not talking about the Mavic Air 2, Mavic Air 2S vertical photo. I'm talking about video. So I'm showing you guys some love and I'm taking one of your shots and showing you how to optimize it. I'm going to use the Rocket Quick Shot, which is available across all of the DJI drones, no matter which one you have. And I'm going to show you how to optimize this for Instagram stories or Instagram reels or TikTok or as an Instagram post, because depending on your social media strategy, one or multiple or all of them might make a lot of sense to you. But we're not going to use my example here. We're going to use one of your examples. And if you're new here, whoop, whoop, I'm Christine, and this is Create with CL, where I give away all of my secrets on what goes behind being a travel creator. And one of my tools is my drone. I'm super excited because drones are so fun and so easy. And I'm going to be breaking down today's video with Faye's drone shot shot with her Mavic Mini 1 on the Rocket Quick Shot setting in the Bahamas. And I don't think this needs to be complicated. I'm literally going to show you everything today just using the iPhone Photos app. Like we are not going to go into any kind of crazy apps or software or anything like that. So I'm literally just going to pull up Faye's photo. And the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. And so I'm literally just going to edit and then I'm going to turn it and I'm turning it. And what makes sense kind of from a user standpoint is probably that the sand is on the bottom, right? Cause we're used to standing on the beach and looking out to the ocean. So I'm going to put the sand at the bottom and then I'm going to trim it. After I have turned it, I'm going to trim it. Cause obviously this part doesn't make sense, nor do you want to see that part. I'm sure Faye doesn't want you to see that either. And so where I trim it is going to depend on which item I'm going to create first. So let's start with the Instagram story, Instagram reel or TikTok, because that one might be of most interest to you first. And so as I'm kind of scrubbing back and forth through this video by holding my finger on the bottom, I think, and this depends on your audience. For me, my audience has, and I love you guys if you're watching this on Instagram and TikTok, they have a kind of attention span of about 1.5 seconds before they go to the next thing. So I would actually reveal the guy, which is a really amazing portion of her shot. I would reveal him sooner than later. So I would probably start it here. And now I'm just clicking to edit and I'm just trimming it over to that portion. And so when I play it back, you're literally only waiting about a second before it reveals the guy. The guy kind of comes into the frame immediately. And then you have the fly away and there you go. So I would say if you are in Instagram reels, the challenge here is that it's cutting to the feed on that portrait part. So it's kind of cutting off that top and bottom and someone might not be able to see it. So you can optimize for that. So let's just save that really quick. You can optimize it in that instance by simply trimming it down. So an example would be, I might zoom in a little bit, right? To trim it out so you can definitely see her in the frame. Or I might do something like, for example, just use the back half of that film. So an example is I would bring it out to maybe this part over here and then I would zoom in and just make sure I'm keeping in mind that portrait so that both people are in the frame and it gets revealed and not cut off. I would say a bonus and totally optional. You can just add a little bit of edit there so you don't have to use some kind of filter. And I'm, I will simply do things like maybe make it a little brighter, maybe up the blacks a little bit, up the contrast, maybe add a little bit of saturation, not too much, just a little bit. It's already a beautiful shot. You don't need to add a whole lot to it. And so just a quick little edit there and that takes you to something just a little bit more edited and now it's time let's bring it over to instagram to show you this next part which is on the feed which by the way if you're getting some value out of this video cheers that like button and consider subscribing and tell me in the comments below if you've learned something so far and tell me some of your tricks of the trade i'd love to know oh and sign up for my email newsletter there's tons of helpful info in there and all right, let's jump over to Instagram. And Faye, I know you didn't really understand my comment when I was like, girl, you gotta put it vertical. So this is what I mean by that. 
I'm in Instagram, I'm going to create a new post. And when I click on your video, I'm gonna click on that button so it gets to the four or five, the maximum size for an Instagram post. And then because this is 16.9, I'm using my finger to scroll so it crops out that ugly tree part, keeps the beautiful part, and then I'm hitting next. And so this is what I mean when I said, turn it vertical for Instagram. This right here, perfect shot, has both of you in there, a little bit saturated, not too much, and it cuts out all the trees, etc. Okay, let's all go to the beach and let's go get some awesome rocket shots, just like Faye. I'm gonna go and show you some top tips on how you can think about taking your own rocket quick shot, as well as how to fly it manually. <gasps> that was fun. I'm Christine, I'm here every week with new videos. Make sure you cheers up like button and come join me on the beach. Let's go do some rocket shots. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Faye, you're so cute. Look at you. I love that. You did such an awesome job on this shot. I'm so proud of you. New drone pilot. Yeah.